it's been regarded as such a violent sport that it's even banned here in France. Mixed martial arts is a form of combat sport where almost anything goes. It includes moves from judo, boxing, karate and other martial arts. But in the United States, a growing number of women are taking up the sport both professionally and at an amateur level. Women's mixed martial arts is fighting fit and raring to go. Increasingly large crowds are drawn to these fights in the United States, a sport on the rise. I don't see it as just a man's sport. Martial arts, you know, is for everyone. MMA, no matter what style you take. I love the dedication and commitment these ladies have to the sport and getting in the cage and doing what they do. MMA is deemed so violent that it's banned in several countries, including France. In the US, the Ultimate Fighting Championship began in 1993, but it took nine years for the creation of a women's division. America now counts several hundred professional female fighters. I just see myself as a normal person, so having people come up and want to have photos and, and stuff like that, it's, it's kind of cool. Like, I'm still not used to it yet, but I, I love how the fans get behind us girls. A win here will amount to around $10,000, a far cry from what the sport's poster child, Ronda Rousey, earns. The global MMA star makes several million, cool. fighting Very just strong. twice or three times a year. She has unquestionably brought an influx of young girls and women into mixed martial arts. So she really has uh, spoken to women of all ages, and she's talked a lot about uh, empowerment issues and feminism and her ideas on those things. The rise in popularity of the sport is spilling over into gyms across the U.S. It's, it's been a, a phenomenal change in how many women we've seen involved and, and progress wanting to learn the technique as much as using the conditioning because it's a lot of fun and it's a lot more fun than just being on a treadmill. And now we get to learn some valuable skills as well. Here in California, the number of women joining classes has increased threefold in the past two years. This training center will soon start a women's only course to meet the growing demand.